Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be for science. We are going to be testing the difference between the Salt New York complexion products against the Merit complexion products. I knew as soon as I uploaded that video that I should have done a comparison of these two, but it was pointed out in the comments and I'm so happy that she did because I think it is a more than worthy comparison to make. I'm also going to be talking about the differences between the Rare Beauty foundation brush and the Merit brush because again, there are similarities there. So I am hopefully going to be doing a wear test today. We'll talk about that as I get ready. I have done this. This will be the third day in a row that I'm wearing these two side by side on my face. I do have a lot going on today. It's going to be almost 90, so we're really gonna put these both to the test. So let's go ahead and jump right in to the application. All right, while I put my sunscreen on, I wanted to say that it was Katie, but I didn't wanna say the wrong name, and I just double checked it was Katie. So thank you, Katie, for pointing this out and asking the question. It is a perfect comparison, so let's go into both of these brands. Salt New York is coming more from a makeup artist perspective. Kiki G, the founder, is a professional makeup artist. They focus on kind of a no makeup makeup look, very natural. It is very eco-conscious in how the products are not just formulated because they do, they're mindful of the ingredients that they use, but they also use refillable pans that can be recycled and then a reusable palette to carry everything in. And it comes in paper sachets, each of the tints. So very kind of eco-conscious. And then Merit Beauty, which was founded by the same woman who founded Versed Skincare that you can find at Target, again, is using recycled material to create their plastic packaging. And they do have instructions on their site on how to recycle their products. And they're also coming from a clean beauty standpoint with their ingredients. So these brands are both going for the natural look, both somewhat eco-conscious. And I think overall they're striving for the same aesthetic. And I do want to say I'm gonna be applying all of the Salt New York products with the Rare Beauty foundation brush and all of the Merit products with the Merit brush. I have not used these brushes for anything else since they have last been washed. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to apply Salt New York on the left side of my face and the Merit on the right side. I do have breakouts healing on both sides of my face, so it'll be a good test of coverage there. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go in with the Merit first. So as I've been testing these two, and I apologize, we're in kind of a rush because I have my first doctor's appointment coming up. I do wanna say, I'm gonna try to do this in like a wear test fashion. I have never filmed one, and I'm gonna be on the move this afternoon, so I'm not 100% sure what those check-ins are going to look like, but I'm gonna do my best, you know? But this is a really good kind of full throttle test. When we come back and do the wrap up tonight or tomorrow, depending on when I get home, I'll go through the other days that I did this test because I did do them on days where it was not 90 <laughs> degrees outside and um, I wasn't running around like a crazy person. So there's one layer of the merit. I am gonna go a little extra under the eyes because I do like more coverage under my eyes. and just pat that out with the brush. We will also be going through pricing and all of that in this wrap up too at the end, but this is just to show you application. So there's Merit. And then I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty brush and into the Sneaky Balm from Salt New York. I have mine in N11, I believe. Let's just double check. N12, so I have N12 in the Salt New York and I have Bone in the Merit. So I'm gonna go directly in to that pan with my brush and start dabbing. I will say the Merit, from an application standpoint, tends to be a little bit less involved just because I'm reaching back into the Salt New York, but that's like 
that's one thing that I do want to mention. Sorry, I am a little scattered. We, we got places to be today. This is going to be splitting hairs. I'll start it off by saying that I love both of these formulas. Not a bad thing to say, but we will split the hairs at the end of this because I love you and I want you to make the best decision for you. So there is my layer of Salt New York. So you can see they both go on super quick. I have very skin-like dewy finish all over the face. So now let's go into bronzer. So I have the Merit Balm Bronzer Stick in Quince. And I'm gonna go directly onto the face with this. And again, blending out with the Merit brush in tapping motions. I hope you cannot hear Frank chewing, but for some reason he's decided to chew right at my feet. Usually he's in the chair, so <laughs> apologies. Again, super quick application. There is the bronzer balm, very skin-like. These are all gonna be extremely skin-like. Then I'm going into the bronzy shade from Salt New York, which I have in light medium. Let me double check. It's been so long since I've looked at the names. I have it in light, excuse me, the very lightest bronzy shade. And I'm going to do the same on this side, tapping with my brush. I'm gonna add just a touch more. There we go. So there is light in that bronzer shade. Next is what really cracks me up. The two blushes that I have from both of these brands are pretty darn close to each other. So I have Mood from Merit, which is a beautiful berry, and I will swatch it next to the Salt New York, but I'm gonna go ahead and again, apply that straight on the face. And with my Merit brush, I don't even want to know the faces I'm making because I'm like, this is almost a real time application of how long this would take. Add a little bit there. Bring a little bit to my forehead. So there is Mood. And then from Salt New York, I have Cocoa, which is a shade that they still have on their site, which on my hand is much more of like a bronzy hot cocoa shade imagine that but once I go in with the brush you're gonna see rude you're gonna see that it lends very similar to mood on my cheek so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that and apply to my cheeks and I'm actually gonna wipe my brush off because I grabbed a little bit more than I bargained for and just blend You can tell that this is a little bit more brown, but honestly, they're close enough to me that I'm, you know, I dare someone to come up and tell me that my blush is not the same color because, you know. But I'm going to buzz through the rest of my face. I'm not going to powder anything. I'm just going to use the Merit Eyebrow and Mascara and then a little bit of the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee or just brulee, I keep saying creme, it's just brulee on my lids and then I will come back to wrap this up and talk about how we plan to check in. All right, as promised, I finished off my makeup. All I did was add the Merit Lip Oil in the shade Sangria, their black tubing mascara, then the brow pomade in blonde, and then on the lid, I added the brulee shade from Wet n Wild. I have not powdered, so let's talk about how this is gonna go. If you don't want to hang around for kind of these wear test check-ins, I will put a timestamp right here of where you can go for my final thoughts, but I did want to show you the application of both. I love how my skin looks. It's very healthy, very dewy. We are under LED lights. I do plan on showing the first check-in in natural light because I will be on 
the go. I don't have time to run out and show you a natural light right now. I'm late for my appointment, but in between my two appointments, I will be showing you in natural light. It is about 1230. Unfortunately, I record on my phone, so I can't be like, it's 1230. Trust me, I'm not going to lie about this. I have no skin in the game. I enjoy both products and I'm curious as well to see what these differences are. So really, again, no skin in the game as far as not being truthful to you. But I'll do a close up before we wrap this and then I will see you in probably about two hours um, for the first kind of in natural light checkup. And the last thing I want to say is I'm going to be packing the Westman Atelier powder and a brush. I know that this powder lays the best on top of anything that I have and doesn't add a powdery finish or a matte finish. So it does take the shine down a little bit. It does blur a little bit, but my plan is if I really need to powder anything because I do like to powder here and under my eyes and I have not yet, I will have that and I will do equal to each side, but we will chat about that when we get there. I will say right now they're both kind of creasing equally on me. I have very deep lines, so that's normal. But I'm excited to do this. We're entering into new territory with this type of video. So let me know down below if you enjoy this and I will see you in a couple of hours. Okay, so I do have time before my appointment to show you. I have no idea how this footage is gonna turn out, but I wanted to show you, here's a close up of my skin. And what I'm noticing right off the bat and forgot to mention as I was applying is this side that is the Salt New York is much dewier than the Merit side. The Merit side still gives you a tint, like a touch of sheen, like a satin skin-like finish, whereas the Salt New York is definitely dewy. And also, I don't know what's going on with the under eye of <laughs> the salt side, so I am gonna tap that out. But so far, if I look up, we'll do a creasing test. From the last two days, the Salt New York ended up creasing more, but I just realized that I didn't add extra coverage under my Salt New York eye. So I'm going to do that. That's why it looks wonky. I'm just gonna add one more layer under my eye there to match the coverage. But yeah, just wanted to talk about the finish on the skin. It was connected to my car. You guys, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to these check-ins. I hope the audio is okay. I'll try to boost it up. It is 3.20. I am about to head into my next appointment. It has been a day. Frank is sick. So I've been <laughs> dealing with all these appointments, work and Frank, and I feel kind of nuts. Anyway, I'm going to look in the mirror. So I did from the first kind of application that you saw added a little bit of extra coverage on the Salt New York side just under the eye area to kind of match this because I was noticing that I forgot to do that and it looked kind of weird. So looking in the mirror, what I have noticed is the Salt New York blush has faded a t like the teensy tiniest bit more than Merit. They've both faded a decent amount. The coverage, however, still looks good. When it comes to creasing, I would say it's about the same, which is surprising because the last time I built the Salt New York up, I had more creasing, but you know, magic. But then as far as coverage, I'm losing a little bit on both sides. So this is Merit, this is Salt New York, and the texture, this is perfect. I did not uh, spray with setting spray. This is just the products. I wanted to be as kind of bare bones as possible and all I have underneath is my normal morning skincare which is Sea Submerge and then I skipped the moisturizer from Vitasurgence which I regret uh, and went into the Live Tinted so I am getting a decent amount of texture and I would say it looks a tiny bit drier and flakier on the Salt New York side again a smidge you know like almost indiscernible I would say when I first put this on Salt New York was noticeably dewier than Merit I think that it still is I'm hoping that it shows up in the video but so far I'm I have some thoughts I think Merit blurs a little bit more it looks a little bit more finished whereas Salt New York is very like your skin uh, but we'll get into that in the 
final thoughts, which I think is going to happen tonight because I will do this check-in and then we'll do final thoughts because we ended up canceling our evening plans because of everything going on <laughs> with Frank. So it's 3.30 now. I will probably see you back around six or seven and we'll wrap this up. Where to begin? One, it is now Friday. The original wear test and check-in happened on Monday. And y'all, this week turned into a circus. I hope the lighting is okay. I'm having some trouble today. Anyway, you've already seen the most important part. So if I'm a little shiny and blown out, I think we'll be okay. But what happened was I had multiple doctor's appointments and a nail appointment on Monday. And we had some family plans to do dinner. As you saw in the last clip, one family dinner got canceled because Frank was sick. And I went to my nail appointment. They're gorgeous. We're doing a little evil eye moment to kick off spooky season with my favorite berry color. Love it. Anyway, that night, Frank busted my lip, which it's healed. It was just kind of a superficial one, but I didn't know it was going to happen. And honestly, by the time that happened, I was ready to call it a day because while I was getting my nails done, a thunderstorm hit and we lost electric and bless Bethany's heart. We had to hold a cell phone flashlight up so she could finish the work. And she was like, can you send me a picture? I don't even know what I did. She did a fabulous job there. So good, but it was just kind of nuts. So then I had other appointments this week, other doctor's appointments. We ended up rescheduling those family plans. I got my hair cut, which I'm not doing it justice today. I will insert a picture. Sam did an amazing job as always. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, highly recommend um, Bloom Beauty Parlor. Fabulous. Anyway, I kind of am glad that that happened because it gave me a few extra days to test side by side. Again, I have Salt New York on this side and Merit on this side for this video. But that brings me into jumping into what I learned throughout this week testing those products. I did not test it Wednesday or Thursday, but I did test it Monday that you saw, Tuesday, and then I also tested it a few days leading up to that. So I've had quite a bit of time to make up my mind on these products, and I also want to address the creasing in the last video, not video, but the last check-in and the application. I did not powder at all. I wanted you to see if what you would get if you were just using these products and nothing else. I did powder today and you can see that the creasing is much, much better. Honestly, a little bit better on the merit side, but that has been my experience throughout this process. So I want to reiterate what I talked about at the beginning of the video more eloquently, hopefully today. Salt New York is Number one, a very eco-conscious brand from the packaging and refillable nature of the products. Also from the ingredients, there is no silicone or kind of funky ingredients. Go check out her website for specifics. But I also want to mention that one of the things I was going to discuss is the shade range for the blushes. It used to be much more vast at Salt New York. However, she's reimagining what the blush line is going to look like. You can still get some of the old original colors of blush. However, it has been stripped down. The blush that I talk about in this video, Coco, that's going to remain available as well as um, the two newest releases and one other shade. Gear. Makeup artist owned, definitely geared more towards makeup artistry, but with the traditional consumer in mind for ease of use, eco-friendly from a packaging and ingredient standpoint, going for that no makeup makeup look. Merit is in line with that. They are eco-conscious from the re used or recycled plastic in their components, but it is not refillable. They also are going for a minimal makeup look and their blush range, I think has enough to suit everybody. And what else? Ingredient wise, they do call out that none of the ingredients are comedogenic and they do not add anything funky, but their funky looks a little different from Salt New York because there is silicone in some of these products. We're gonna get into that. Let's go ahead and start breaking it down. But first, I wanna talk about the tools that I used in this video. I stuck to the Merit brush for the Merit side and the Rare Beauty for the Salt New York side. The Merit brush is $30, unless you get it in a bundle and get a slight discount on it. Also, 
sales on the Merit website and sales through Sephora. The Rare Beauty brush is $24 and it is also available for sale on the Rare Beauty site and Sephora during those sale times. So if you are interested in getting a discount, make sure you're signing up for emails, not just through Sephora, but with the brands themselves. These are really good to compare because the softness and the density on these is pretty much the same. You get a little bit more movement with the Merit because the bristles are longer, but the biggest differentiator is going to be the shape. You get a, well, not after I just messed it up. You get a pointier tip on the Rare Beauty brush and a full kind of rounded tip on the Merit. They're both slightly angled. The second thing that's going to be the biggest difference is the fact that Merit has a thicker, shorter handle. So if you like to hold the brush kind of like this, this one's gonna be the best bet. This one has a much longer handle and is really comfortable if you prefer holding your brush like this. That said, for the $6 price difference, they're pretty interchangeable for me. It's all gonna come down to the shape of the head and the handle. Again, try to pick these up on sale if you can, but I also wanted to add in two other options that are cheaper than both of these. The first one being the Beauty Pie Seamless Buffing Foundation Brush. This one is $12.80, I believe. It has a slightly... <laughs> I keep messing with the bristles. It has a slightly slanted shape just like the other two, just as dense and just as soft as the other two, and these are, these are some of the softest brushes, these three that we're talking about so far. If you're a Beauty Pie member, I think that this would easily replace those two and your brush collection as well. And then the last one, I was browsing the drugstore section in my local grocery store and Koki Cosmetics is one that I always have in my purview. It's not the most accessible. I think at one point they might've been at Ulta. I think they're at Sally Beauty Supply. Um, they're at some drugstores and then online, of course. But I picked up their BR618 brush, which is their foundation brush. And why I wanted to include it, it is much, much larger than the Merit, as you can see, but it is just as soft. It has more movement because those bristles are longer, but it also has that shortened handle. It's still slightly longer than the Merit, but you could easily kind of hold it the same way if you prefer controlling your brush like that. All of these, and I've tested these out to make sure before I said this, all of these blend the same way, even though this is bigger and a little bit more movable, is that the m m movable with the bristles? It blends the same way as these and it's just as soft and this one is $18 and probably a little bit easier to get your hands on than the Beauty Pie. At $18, you're getting a little bit closer to the Rare Beauty at 24, but these are all great options. I love all of these brushes. I will continue to use all of these brushes. I just wanna throw some options out there. I'm sure there are other brushes in my collection, but these were the three top of mind that I wanted to talk about. So happy to share some of those options. Now that we did the brush comparison, let's get into final thoughts between Merit and Salt New York. I want to preface this with, I love all of these products. I love both of these brands, what they stand for. I think there's give and take between these brands on kind of where they shine more than the other brand. And I think it's gonna come down to your personal preference of ethos in a company. I also want to say, this is completely unbiased. I love all of these products, both of these brands. I think both of the founders are pretty, you know, kick butt. And what I'm about to get into as far as what I learned in the wear test is very much so what I mentioned in my check-in, splitting hairs. These could not be more similar products. It's going to be very, very fine-tuned details that might pull you to one or the other but I think this is really good to share because if you already own one, you may not need the other. Or if you already own one and there's slight tweaks you wanna make, maybe the other one is a good choice or you can kind of decide on your own if you want to try these to kind of hold out until you finish one and move to the other, make your own decision. Based on reviewing the footage of application and the check-in and the other days that I did wear this, 
The first thing that I will say is the finish on the skin. So Salt New York does tend to be more dewy off the bat, but as the day goes on, they kind of equal out. And I don't even know that you can truly see what I'm talking about in the videos. I hope that you can, but it's just the tiniest bit more dewy. The second thing is the Salt New York is lighter coverage on a first layer. You can build it up to where it's very comparable with the Merit off the bat. But the Salt New York is almost more skin-like. It's almost more no makeup makeup, whereas the Merit looks a little bit more blurring and a little bit more finished. And I believe that that is because there is one silicone ingredient included in the base product from Merit. So do with that information what you will. If you are someone that wants truly no makeup makeup and to look just like skin with a tiny bit of help, go with Salt New York. If you want something that does not have silicones, go with Salt New York. On the flip side, if you want something a little more finished and blurred, Merit All Day. And if you prefer formulas with silicone and that technology built into the product, Merit's gonna be the winner for the base product as well. Now, the creasing I did notice was worse on the Salt New York side, but again, that was without powdering. And I will pop a picture up that I was able to grab. I was having creasing in my crow's feet, which I, I never have. The creasing under my eyes that you'll see here is from that really deep line, which makes total sense. But when I smile, I get somewhat crow's feet, but they're not bad at all. They're very fine. So to see that it was bunching up in that area was a really surprising aspect of this wear test. That said, I think powdering would totally absolve that um, issue. But if you're someone who has a lot of fine lines and you don't want to powder, you want that really dewy finish, that's something to keep in mind with the Salt New York. A lot of that is because I had to build up the product to get the coverage that I like under my eyes. How I typically like wearing the Salt New York is using the Thrive Cosmetics um, Buildable Blur Concealer underneath my eyes. It gives that very natural finish that's cohesive with the Salt New York, but I don't experience a creasing with that. But again, today I've powdered and I use the Westman Atelier so it doesn't take a lot of the skin-like finish or the shine away and it's much, much better. A little bit more powder would probably, again, totally absolve that issue. I told you, we're like really splitting hairs. As far as the bronzer and the blush go, I did notice the Salt New York fading a little bit faster than the Merit, but as a lot of you are probably gonna point out from my check-in video, three hours into the makeup, I did get quite a bit of fading and some breakup on my skin. These products are not meant to be full coverage, eight to 12 to 24 hour wear. That's just not what these brands are going for. These are products that you're gonna get some wear time out of, but the hopes is that it wears away in a skin-like finish. And I will say it did not for me on the day that I filmed check-ins, but I attribute that to not using the Verdant Force Field in conjunction with Sea Submerge and the Live Tinted Hue Guard SPF. When I wear all three of those, I do not have that issue with most of the foundations and base products that I have, but I wasn't unhappy with it. Um, it's makeup, you know, these are products that you, if you're wearing this all day to work, you're gonna have to touch these up anyway, but the great thing about that is Salt New York, you can just pack this palette and touch up whatever you need to. And then as far as the Merit goes, very portable stick products that you can do the same thing with as well. Those bronzer and cheek products are kind of where these really, the lines blur of what I would choose. It's really the base products where I saw a difference. That said, I would recommend both of these products to anyone. I would say if you're slightly oilier, the Merit might be less work to get to the finish that you like and to stay a little bit longer, but the pricing is going to be the biggest thing. The pricing and the delivery system. If you love the compact nature of having a very luxurious palette and your pans that you can just replace the pan of for $16, or if you bundle, you'll get 20% off of the pans that you choose with the palette, Salt New York all day. This palette will last you forever. It's very luxurious and the small size is very compact and travel friendly. 
These are also very travel friendly. You can pop them in whatever magnetic palette that you own. If you prefer dipping your brush into something, go with the Salt New York. If you love the ease of application from a stick product, go with Merit. That's a huge differentiator as well as the price. You can bundle the Merit, but if you get the whole capsule, you're spending $200. The foundation on its own is 38, so double the price plus a little bit for from the Salt New York. And then also the last thing I'll mention is I stopped doing the wear test after when Tuesday because it's been a few days since I've worn this, so it has gone away. But on the Salt New York side, I noticed a lot of kind of like almost milia and texture, small bumps under the skin starting to form. And I went back and reviewed the ingredients on the Salt New York. It does not have any coconut derived ingredients. I think at one point maybe it did. It does not after checking the website. And I have the most updated formula, but it has a combination of three oils, grapeseed oil being one of them. And I don't know that my skin loves grapeseed oil. And I didn't notice this before with Salt New York because I grab Salt New York when I need something really quick and I'm not doing like a true full face. This is truly no makeup makeup for me. And for that reason, lately I've been going a little bit more glam. I have not worn it multiple days in a row, but after wearing it multiple days in a row, I did see a little bit of congestion in my skin. Now that could be from the oils or it could be from the fact that my pans are a little bit older. I was dipping the same brush into it, etc. So keep all of that in mind. With that said, I'm gonna go into final, final thoughts. If I had to choose myself, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I would go with Merit because I don't get the congestion like I do with Salt New York. I personally prefer the ease of use in stick products, and I like that it gives a little bit more finished look, even though it's still no makeup makeup, I feel a little bit more finished in the Merit. However, I love the colors that Salt New York allows to play with. They have a contour. Merit does not. I did just today use the contour on both sides and it plays very well with Merit. So these blushes, bronzers, contours can be intermixed. So maybe you go, you know, this for a little bit more finished of a look and then these for your color. The mixers that she has on the site allow you to adapt those colors even further. I can't wait for her to drop the blush shades because I think they're going to be incredibly nuanced and beautiful. So it's really hard for me to say Merit, but I think at this current point, that is where I would go. I hope that this was helpful. I also would say if you, you know, absolutely made me choose in a life or death situation, I think I would rank these as Beauty Pie number one, Merit number two, Rare number three, and Koki number four. But I love them all, and I, if I lost one of these, I would repurchase it, no matter which one it was, if that's helpful. So I've been blabbering. I hope that this was helpful. It was really exciting to film something like this. Obviously, I need to do these on weeks where I'm not kind of jam-packed with appointments, but it was really fun. If you enjoy this type of video, let me know down below. If this was helpful to you, let me know down below. And if you have any other comparisons you'd like me to test out, I am more than happy to. This was really fun. And I hope that you're having a great start to your week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.